Hello everyone, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can make a auto image slider using HTML and CSS. And I'll show you everything step by step from the very beginning. So let's go back to our board. So here you can see we have a simple HTML structure and we have connected our index.html with our style.css. So inside the body, let me just mention a name. Then in this tip, let's mention a class. Let's say the class name will be ing underscore slider. Then inside this tip, we are going to mention a tag called figure. Then in this figure, let's mention another div. And this div, class name will be my underscore slide. Right now, we are going to have a title for the slide. Let's say the title will be forest. And we're going to mention a image tag here. So inside the source, what we are going to do is that we're going to get the image from here. There you can see I have four images, image on, image two, image three, and image four. So here I will going to say image on dot png. So I will just copy this div from here. Then I'm going to paste it three tags. One, two, and three. So this one will be image2.png, then this will be image3, and this will be image4. And for the image2, the extension is jpg, so I'm going to set here jpg. If we now save this, and if we open it in the browser, it will look like this. There you can see, we have the image, and the image height and width is too big. So obviously, we'll fix it. First of all, we are going to write the CSS for the image underscore slider. So I'll just copy this and I'll go to my style.css. So here you can see style.css. I'll just open it in a split view. And I'm going to write some CSS for this image underscore slider. But before that, let me just give a star here and we're going to say panning will be zero. Then margin, it will be zero. Then we are going to give a dot here with saying a slider and here we are going to say that width will be for the image 100% of our skin and the height for the slider will be let's say 500 px. If you now set this then if we now refresh it will look like this and there you can see we can go to the right side to see the full images here. So right now, let's then fix the image height and width. Okay, let me just uh, keep this div over here so that you can see clearly. So let me just write the CSS for the image tag first. And this image tag is inside the class called my underscore slide. So I'm going to give a dot. We we'll mention the class then. Then we we'll mention the image tag. Then we we'll second bracket. And I'm just going to copy this. The image height will be with it hundred percent and height will be five hundred bit. If we now save it, then refresh and there you work. So right now we will write some CSS for this tag called figure. There you can see figure tag. So we are going to say here figure, then to second bracket for the figure we're going to say width it will be four hundred. Percent. Why 400%? Because we have 4 images here. That's why we are saying 400%. And we are also going to say here, position, it will be relative. She is going to make a slider. And we want the slide to start from the left side. So we say I'm left, 0. If we now save, then refresh here. It will look like this. There you can see. So first of all, let me just uh, hide this slider here at the bottle so for it uh, here you can see my slider we are going to say overflow it will be hidden if we now save it then refresh there you can see there is no slide here to move our skin so right now what we are going to do is we are going to write some css for my underscore slide so we say here dot my underscore slide then to second bracket. So first of all, we are going to mention the width. So what do you mean that width? The width will be twenty-five percent of this four hundred percent. So that width is basically hundred percent. That twenty-five percent of four hundred is hundred. So if we save this and refresh here, 
you will see that image with the hundred percent width of the scale. So after this, we need to mention here position. It will be relative, and we want to show the image from left to right side. So we want to say there and float. It will be left. If we just set this, then refresh here. Um, all the images on the right side basically. Let me just show you. If I just remove this overflow hidden from here, set it and refresh, you will see all the images to be on the right side. There you can see. So we want to show those in a slider way. So for it, uh, let's just keep the overflow hidden here. After that, we'll go inside this figure. Then we we'll set our animation, it will be 20 seconds. After that, we need to mention our class name, this class name, my underscore slide. And we we'll set our infinite. So we want the animation to be last for let's say 10 seconds and it will go for infinite time. So right now, we need to write the keyframe for this my underscore slide. So here is where we're going to say at the top keyframes. Then we mention this my underscore slide here. Then we need to second bracket. So right now we need to mention a percentage for this 10 second time. So here first of all it will be zero percent. Then we give to second bracket. So at zero percent the left will be zero. So let me just copy this and I'm going to paste it here, let's say 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So let's say the, the iteration between each slide will be 9%. So for here I'm going to say nine. So zero to 9% will stay left zero. After that, we we'll say here 18 and this one will be 27. Let me just write the percentage here. So after 27, this will be 36. Then we'll say here 45, then 54. This will be 63. This will be 72, 81. Uh, this will be 90. Let me just have two more Let's say. This will be 99 and this will be 100. So here for 0 to 9 percent it will be 0. From 18 percent to 27 it will be let's say minus 100. And from 36 to 45 percent it will be minus 200. And then from 24 to 63 it will be minus 300. So it will be from 0 to minus 300. Okay, we need to give percentage here. I've forgot to give percentage. Uh, let me just choose all those or select all those. Then I'll give the percentage here. So after 300, we'll go back to 200. So we say here 200, it will be percentage. Then after 200, we'll go to 100 minus 100% and after 100% we'll go to 0%. So it will go from 0 to minus 300% because we mentioned here uh, the will in the figure 400%. That's why 0 to minus 300 is basically 400%. So if we now say it, then refresh here. There you can see the images moving one by one. And after the last image, it will go back to the first image one by one. So here, let me just give different title after forest. Let's say here, it will be child. Then this in it is say moon and this in be tree. So for this H on that, let me just write some simple CSS. So here I'm going to say my underscore slide will mention the H on that. And we need to give a dot here. So for the text, the color will be let's say white. The text align, it will be center. We are going to say margin top. It will be 
50 px and the sub position it will be absolute for the text let's also say here font size uh it will be 42 px let's save it then let me just refresh here okay that text is over here and i didn't save it here and i'm going to say here with it will be 100 percent let me save it again refresh and there you can see text is in the center and the slide is moving one by all and it will go for infinite time so this is how you can make a simple slider using html and css and i think that time duration is too small let's make it 20 bus 20 second save it then refresh and there you go i think this will be better so i need to you right now know how to make a simple slider using HTML and CSS. Make sure to subscribe, leave a comment, and I hope to see you in the future tutorial.